Hi everyone, this is Menz here. I'm going to be playing the tier 8 Chinese heavy tank, the 110. Uh, this is actually a voiceover over a replay, however, this is actually my first match I've ever had in the 110 at this moment, and turns out to be a pretty, pretty good match, I would say. Um, get a mastery badge first class, high caliber award, I believe a steel wall award as well. Now, the direct uh, I would say competitor of the 110 is the IS-3. Um, IS-3 being a Russian uh, heavy tank right here. Now, just looking at the two, 110 has a slight HP advantage over it at 1550 compared to 1500. Not sure if that's fully upgraded, but it's going off the top of my head here. Now, armor-wise on the front, both have a pike nose design because the 110 is actually, if I remember correctly, uh, the Chinese kind of knockoff of the IS-3. They tried to basically build their own model of it um, on a, I think, a standard IS-2 chassis. I might be wrong, though. Um, but basically, it's going off of armor stats. The 110 frontal armor, uh, it's hull a lot better, upper hull angle, and also thickness a little bit better. You can actually deflect shots off of it, unlike the IS-3 where the angles... Uh, less, it's basically less pronounced, and people can actually penetrate you up on the, on the upper glacis. Now your weak spot on the lower glacis, pretty big, kind of same as the IS-3. Um, turret, IS-3 has a little leg up there, but they're still pretty tong strong turrets aside from the hatch parts here. Now, the main difference comes with the gun. Uh, the 110 has one degree of gun depression over the IS-3. It also has a lot more DPM, however it only has 320 damage per shot compared to 390. Um, it's like going into this match here, I saw that we're kind of lacking um, a heavy tank with armor over here, so that's why I slot it over here. I thought we had enough help over here, but you never want the enemy to push pretty hard um, when you're on assault on this map. But seeing the amount of enemies that went, th went this way, the IS-3, the low, VK4502, the Pershing, they basically commit all their top tanks here. So I'm just going to push really hard this way, because I, or the, the IS-3, the 110's armor, uh, being as good as it is, don't have to really worry too much about um, the lower tier tanks like this, unless they hit you in the side armor, because unlike the IS-3, the 110 does not have uh, that spaced armor, uh, side armor, that you're used to. Now this guy's just chucking HE at me, which I probably would do the same thing unless um, I'm pretty sure he starts loading, I think, premium rounds eventually to pen me the lower glacis, but nope, I was wrong. <laughs> but artillery definitely starts noticing me because they're usually situated up here. Now, the 110... Uh, the 110, since you do have higher DPM but less alpha damage, 320 isn't bad for uh, tier 8 heavy though, but it's nothing spectacular. Um, I like to play it more... I don't like fighting, say, toe-to-toe -to -toe against an IS-3, because they out alpha you, and your standard round on the IS-3 actually has a little bit more penetration than the 110s. But I don't like fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with, say, an IS-3 or something with more alpha than me in this. I try to go to spots where you can bully the medium tanks, lighter tanks, maybe lower tier heavies. Um, it's not to say this tank can't fight against same tier heavies or uh, tanks like that. I just shy away from uh, fighting against things with more alpha than me. But this Panther ends up being AFK, so that's a decent chunk of the damage I do, but eh, I'll take it though. Um, I don't stop and just sit here waiting to kill him. Better to just keep pushing, taking your shots, and uh, moving along. Which, in this match, I ended up doing 3,979 damage. Pretty damn good for a tier 8 heavy tank. Easily double my uh, HP. And I also deflected uh, 1,610 damage and assisted with only 326, but still... Not too bad, uh, but even though I know this guy's AFK, I'm still just continually uh, moving along 
Uh, some people would have just sat here and kept shooting at him. Eh. I'd rather take the risk of him <laughs> loading in than to sit back there and not doing anything. Now, even I compared the IS-3 to 110 pretty extensively. Um, it's like the IS-3 does have a little bit more uh, engine power and mobility over it, but it's negligible. Now, would I consider this a better tank than IS-3? I would say yes, um, only because if you can account for the slightly lower alpha that this does not have compared to IS-3, and basically avoid getting into direct brawls with something with more alpha damage than you, I like this tank a bit better because you have the better um, upper glacis armor, whereas in IS-3 most tanks you face can just aim at your upper frontal glacis and punch right through it unless um, the person absolutely cannot aim. But it, it, this tank you don't see too much since it is a Chinese heavy. The Chinese heavy tank line isn't terrible, it's just a little less popular than the Russian heavy tank line to say the least. And the 110 does lead to the WZ uh, tier 9 heavy. And that's a fantastic high alpha damage tank, just just like this, same design, just higher alpha gun, and that's a pretty fantastic tank I'm looking forward to. And even the 113 heavy after it at tier 10 is pretty good. Uh, lower alpha um, than the WZ at tier 9, but nonetheless, a pretty solid tank. Um, which this match, it definitely, I set up in the right spot. I was in a spot where I can, or I could, um, utilize my armor and not worry too much about the enemy which even though this is a replay uh this match is basically over here um the end result screen is going to be right after i'm done talking here so uh thanks for watching and eh, here comes the statistics <laughs> all right so i got a mystery badge first class this is actually my first match and no oh, it was freaking terrific uh steel wall high caliber uh, nearly 4,000 damage, 3,979, 5 kills, about 1,350 uh, base experience overall. Uh, hit most of my shots, I deflected a bit, and assisted with a little bit. All in all, pretty good start to the 110. Uh, it's a really uh, good uh, tank, unlike the IS-3. The 110 actually has quite a bit of armor. Uh, the angled section on the hole here, you see it's pretty heavily uh, angled actually holds up a lot better compared to the IS-3. Still has the kind of weak lower glacis, but close up. You can actually uh, use it pretty effectively because it's uh, pretty sloped once people get pretty close to you. But your weak spots on top of your turret are uh, one of the downsides. But overall, a uh, pretty good match, and thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, see you sometime again soon. If you like this video, you can support me through fan funding using the Google Wallet in the upper right-hand corner. Otherwise, there's a video, uh, or not video, there's a PayPal uh, link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.